for joining us, Miles. We will start with Sam Perley. Hey, Miles. Hope you're doing well. Uh, six of the last eight games you guys have played against Toronto have been one possession games. I'm curious, is there anything that you notice about uh, this Raptors team when you guys play them that, you know, kind of brings out the competition or the competitive side, I guess, for both of you and why these games have been so close in recent years? Uh, I'll say because they, they play similar to us. You know, they're a fast transition team. They like to get out and run. Um, they, they play small ball as well. Um, so anytime anytime they play, we play against each other, it's always going to be a back-and-forth matchup. Um, I love playing against these guys. You know, they always bring the best out of, out of everybody. Thank you. Ashley, go ahead. Hey, Miles. Um, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to – I'm not sure if you know, but last game you actually became – the all-time leading scorer among left-handed shooters in Hornets history. So congrats to you. Of course, Eric oh. Collins came up with that stat. But I was Thank just you. wondering if you um, <laughs> if you can go back to your younger self when you broke your right arm and um, being able to play with both. Is this something that you, you know, would encourage guys to do coming up and even, you know, from middle school, high school playing, just being able to to be so versatile like you are, play with both hands? Yeah, for sure. I feel like a big part of making it to the NBA is being able to play with both hands. You know, you got to be able to play with your right hand. Somebody take that away, play with your left hand. Um, that's big, you know, to see most of the great players. You know, LeBron, he's ambidextrous. Kobe, he was shooting with his left hand when, when he hurt his right shoulder. So I feel like everybody in the league has to have – has to be able to use both hands. And I think – I know you've told me this story before, but how old were you when you ended up breaking your right hand and, and switching over and trying to start playing with your left? Uh, six, I was outside playing in my backyard. Um, we were both, me and my friend were both going for a rebound. I, I tried to dive on the floor. He fell on my arm. So I remember <laughs> that they did it. So, uh, it, I don't know. It's funny, though, just to see it come around full circle. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yep. Rob, go ahead. Hey, Miles. The last couple guys, you guys lost the game, whether it was against D.C. Or, or Orlando. You guys have bounced back with a win or two after that, man. What has been the key for that happening, do you think, over the last couple times it's happened? Uh, just watching film, learning from our mistakes and fixing them. I know we, we do a great job of, of, of responding. Um, so I, I feel great about tonight. You know, it's going to be a tough matchup. No fans. Um, but we got to bring our own energy. Yeah, you mentioned no fans. I mean, obviously you dealt with that a little bit last year. But how much different is it now that you've had fans back and you guys are used to the energy of the fans bring to you guys out there on the floor? Uh, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be different. Um, but I, I feel like we're going to bring our own energy. Um, so, I mean, both teams got to bring their own energy. They're probably used to playing with no fans. Um, but we're, we're going to bring our own energy, so I think we're good. We'll wrap, wrap up with one quick one to Nelson. Nelson, you're muted. Hey, Miles. Nelson here. Um, you, you're obviously in the conversation for, for the All-Star game. We're less than, than a month away. How exciting it is for you to be a part of this conversation and to potentially be in the All-Star game? Uh, it's definitely exciting. Um, but for me, if I feel like if I make the game, that's going to be a team award because um, my, my teammates have definitely helped me with my confidence, my coaches. Um, so it's going to be a team award for me. Um, I'm just focused on winning games right now. Awesome. Thank you, Miles. Appreciate it. Thanks, yeah, everyone. Yeah. Thanks,